There's a brand new fundraising event in Port Colborne and it's a real gas. The source dropped in at Guild Hall for brews and beans to sample the chili and meet some of the community members who came out tonight to support Port Cares. We wanted to do something different and we wanted to do an event where we could bring in a, a mixed crowd, just laid back, have some fun and enjoy each other's company and sing along with the band. How did this all come together tonight? Amazing effort. Our team at Port Cares are just incredible. Um, we, we've done all the food. We, as many know, we have our reach out centre with the kitchen where we provide hot meals for those in need. So our cook and his volunteers put the food together. We've had some great sponsors to cover off the food like the Port Colborne Fire Department and a few other anonymous donations. As well, we partnered with Breakwall Brewery, a great little craft brewer right here in Port Colborne. And so it just was a matter of having a few conversations, building some excitement and doing it. And of course, the Pub Jugs, great duo from Niagara have come out to provide the entertainment. I think it's $15 tonight. I think you're sold out. That's right, we're sold out at $15 and that gets you in the door for uh, the great music and as well gets you uh, pulled pork on a bun, uh, baked beans, a bean salad and the five alarm chili. You're not worried about the aftermath of all those beans? Well, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe that's going to give us a little bit of a dangerous edge here, but you know, it, it does. You know, the brews and beans combo has got a lot of traction. A lot of people have had a lot of good laughs about it, but it, uh, it seems to be hitting the right chord. Ewan, why did you come out to this event tonight? Well, I, uh, I'm the general manager for uh, Claire's Delivery Service, and uh, we sponsored this event. And uh, as part of, uh, you know, we're part of the community, and we just felt it's important to do our part, and uh, I thought it was important to come here tonight. You're trying the chili. Is that the five alarm chili? Is it really five alarm? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about five alarm, but I might be calling 911 in a minute. You happy with this turnout tonight? Yeah, good so far. It's still early and the beer's good and the food's good, so I think it might even be better. Scott, why did you come out tonight? What do you know about Port Cares and its need here in the community? I think it's a super important event. I work at City Hall, as most people know, and Port Cares does so much for the community. They're a great organization in Port Colborne, and this year I've joined the board of directors, so I'm actually working at City Hall, but also serving on the board of directors of Port Cares to try to advance the help that they provide in the city of Port Colborne. Cillian, what brought you out to Brews and Beans tonight? Well, our friend Jen Marshall works for the, uh, the Port Cares, and we belong to the Operatic Society, so they decided to ask us, and we thought we'd support the group, which we enjoyed. Tell me about the food that you're trying tonight. My goodness, delicious. I uh, got the pulled pork, Fantastic, baked beans, and everything else is very good. The goal for tonight is to raise about $5,000, but that's only a small drop in the bucket for the funding that you need to keep Port Cares going. That's right. Our goal this year is to internally raise 115000 but we need just two hundred dollars to $220,000 a year to run the Reach Out Centre. We do apply for and receive grants. We have some revenue streams, but... It's, it, it's touch and go every year, and we are so blessed in this community to have such amazing support. Attendance for Brews and Beans far exceeded expectations. Next on the agenda for Port Cares, November 16th, is their annual gala and auction. Reporting in Port Colburn for The Source, I'm Mike Balsam.